back to me. I miss. Place. Fucking ate everything.
Excuse me. Entrance into the showroom is for customers only. Oh, well now. Our cat burglar. What do we have here? Are you another ghost? I cannot bring you the peace you require, spirit. Leave me be. <sighs> Must we, spirit? Oh, so be it. Welcome to Duncan and Duncan's, Appalachia's premier robotics dealer. I am Skinner. How may I help you, alleged member of the living? Assaultrons are military-grade hardware, my professed liveling. As such, all of our machines have already been spoken for. Outstanding deal with the United States military just waiting for pickup. You understand. Uh, not for purchase, no. The mint condition Protectron and handy bodies we have on the premises have been spoken for. And our resupplier is already desperately late with our latest shipment. I do hope you understand. I'm sorry, but I simply cannot. The price of such a machine, even before its noted uptick in demand, was in millions of dollars. Bottle caps? Actual trash? Hmm. Then it's likely safe to presume the amount you'd need to offer is in the mid ten figures. Is that so? Mr. Duncan are so very risk-averse. Uh, fine. Here, you may collect it upstairs. <laughs> Fool. By all means. I would ask you to keep your hands off the merchandise. I heard some screaming outside the window. Do the ghosts rule the outside world as well now? Hey, you got one. Signal's coming through loud and clear. You know, I don't throw the word hero around a lot. Come over here and let's discuss, huh? Now, I presume you found something that'll work for someone with my natural charm and gravitas? Now that's what I like to hear. Seriously, thank you for sticking your neck out for me. It's true. You've worked real hard putting things right for us. None of us are going to forget what you've done. But that really just leaves one last topic for us to discuss. Doesn't it? Crane, you ready to listen? I'm just warning you I can't guarantee you're going to be happy with what I'm about to say. 
All right then. Follow me. So, I've known where Crane is. I know where his treasure is, but, well, there's a problem. Honey, you awake? Oh. You want to give him a little nudge? Boy! 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 Boy is key! Boy is key! <sighs> That's all he says anymore. Boy is key. Jesus, Duchess. Over and over. That thing's been up here the whole time? That thing is Crane, Solomon. And what exactly would you have liked me to do with them? Put it out of its misery. Those things are killers, Duchess. Polly and I have the scars to prove it. I don't recall yielding the floor to debate here. You agree with me, don't you? I... Well, look. I may not have all the information here, but all I've heard is, well, no, once the infection's this far gone. Then so is the person inside. I, I know. Y you're right. I just, I couldn't. Please. Just make it quick. Of course. Unless... you want to take care of it? And who knows how long that'll take? We just wait around for this thing to get loose in the hopes that someone out there finds it? No. I'm sorry, but Crane's gone. The only decision to make here... is are you doing it? Or am I? Murder? No, you... You're right, I guess. Well, what about... We'll let him go. He's out of our hair and gets a fighting chance at a life. Who knows? Uh, maybe he'll last long enough for someone to find a cure. Alright? Maybe he gets lucky. Be a nice change for you, wouldn't it, Mr. Crane? Fine. We'll let him go. I'll take care of the arrangements. Get him far, far away from here. In the interim, honey, you're gonna need to reach into Crane's pocket there and grab a map and a keycard. Just try not to get bit. According to that map, the treasure is in some kind of special cache tucked away inside Golly Mine, sealed away behind a keycard locked door. Golly Mine? That's where Polly and I tracked the Scorched. Son of a... Does that... Did you lure those damn things here when you found the cache? You sure you still want to let him go? Hush, Solomon. Now, this cache. I tried to check it out myself, but I didn't get real far. You're already intimately acquainted with Golly. So I suspect you've got the best shot at actually laying hands on whatever's in there. So, here are my terms. I will let you keep said map and access card. No strings attached. As payment for everything you've done for us. But I need your word you'll come back. And buy a drink every now and then. And none of that cheap stuff I served to the scrappers in Saul. Hey. I'm just realizing that having the right people in your life... It's more important than chasing riches. Honey, I'll take it in tips. Now, there anything else you want to discuss before heading out? 
No idea, sweetheart. He was only ever here alone. If he did have kids, well, they're long gone. I'll be fine. This... this is just the world we got now. A lesson I keep seeming to forget. Lucky for me, I just happen to have access to a variety of mind-altering substances. So, I'll bounce back. But thank you for asking. Maybe I have great vision. Maybe he wore shirts with too many buttons undone. Maybe you don't need an answer to that question. You got what you needed. What say you let a lady maintain her air of mystery? Good luck. Bye! Valid pit boy detected. Access granted. Welcome, prospective Robco customer.
Well, well. We've been having a little discussion with your friends here. Word around the water cooler is you found Crane's treasure. Good for you. Time to cover your end of the deal. Pay up. A weapon. Singular. Let me see it. You want someone to get hurt? Show me! That's it? <laughs> Fine. You give me that, I suppose we can call it even. Unless you can make me a better offer. <laughs> you are pretty... wimpy. Fine. I'll take the key. Let's go, boys. Well, I suppose that could have gone a lot. Nice doing business with Honey, you. Honey, why don't uh, you and I have a little chat while, while I try and stop my hands from shaking? I guess that went about as well as it could have. Though I do wish maybe you hadn't struck a deal with them in the first place. At least they're out of our hair. For the time being. You and me both, darling. That said, I value that man's word about as much as a Brahmin fart. Having Saul and Bali back on their feet, though, should level the playing field in case he gets any ideas. Solomon, you think you and Bessie can go grab Polly's new ride sooner rather than later? I can make it happen, Duchess. Atta boy. Well, honey, I'm real sorry Crane's leads didn't pan out quite like we'd hoped. And while I can't magic up a better treasure for you, what I will do is foot you a discount. You'll never pay full price here while I'm still above the ground. Really, it's about the least I could do at this point. Oh, and I nearly forgot. Once we got the power back on, we started picking up this broadcast. Some woman claiming to be an overseer. Of one vault 76. I thought it might... pique your interest. I can't tell you if she is who she claims she is, but I figured if anyone could sort it out, well... It was going to be you. Honestly, thank you. We're on our feet now because of you. You take care of yourself out there, honey. One wayward soul to another. We really need to clean up around here. Little dark to be out on your own, isn't it? And we got a calm, clear night. Perfect for watching the stars. Yeah, I know what you mean. And being well rested makes a hell of a difference. <laughs> 